Welcome back to Channel C1. I'm the Michael Jamal. And this is Cam King. And if you're watching this right now, Doom Part 2 reaction is already on Patreon. But this is the Dune 1 reaction. I've already seen it. He has. I have not seen Dune. I've never seen any of the Dune adaptations. And I nor have I read the book. But I love sci-fi movies. So this is probably right up my alley. I hear it's kind of atmospheric. Kind of very world building. Um, Which is unique for a romantic comedy. You would think that it would be like less atmospheric. This man is a romantic real comedy. World. This man is a romantic comedy. Right Thank here. you. But yes... It's uh, the books and movies that inspired Star Wars, so there's, you get those comparisons a lot. But I enjoyed it. A lot of people enjoyed it. It is long. Directed and co-produced by Denny Villeneuve. How do you say that? Denis Villeneuve, Denis to my Villeneuve, knowledge. Denis Villeneuve. Mm -hmm. A very interesting interview I was reading recently where, is it, it's a guy, right? Den yes. Yeah. He was, he hates dialogue. Ah, fair Absolutely enough. hates dialogue. And he thinks that television shows have ruined cinema because TV shows are dialogue heavy. Yeah, he Those, took the show, show not tell to heart. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that so? Yeah. <laughs> you agree with this statement after seeing, the, after seeing it? I can, I can see that makes sense based on, especially considering some of the awards that I remember that winning for the Oscars yeah. uh, or being nominated for have to do with a lot of cinematography related things and score from what I remember so it makes sense that yeah. that was is what going is what's going on but it's not like how if you've seen our rings of power reaction we didn't love that show and I how mean, they that, overdid it to where it started to dilute all the but even in rings beauty of, of power it. I wouldn't even say the cinematography was necessarily great it was the set pieces uh, anybody can shoot a wide angle of a beautifully fucking designed city that's fair. you know what I mean like yeah I didn't think there was any like super great it still felt, it felt very plastic mm, like it felt fair. like standard lighting mm, and just fair. shiny it was just it shiny is, like a shiny new toy yeah and i feel like even just from the trailers to seeing this there's like it's, more of a distinct style and, and it character. feels lived in there's some grit it feels more immersive when something feels too like crispy and clean yeah, yeah. like like shogun is real nice. it's not crispy or clean yeah. it's very the the lens have distortion yeah and the lighting is very blue uh, it's very um melodramatic but yes this has Daya in it has um timothy chalamet there's jason samoa there's yeah, oscar isaac oscar josh isaac. brolin um, um thanos yes dave Bautista. oh yes oh goddamn rebecca ferguson um don't say his name don't say his name skarsgård stellan skarsgård from andor he's amazing in this i really love him in andor though but yes, very interesting movie. There's a lot of lore and things to know of, about the story in and regards to, you know, as you watch, you have to pay attention. One but of my favorite cinematographers is on this. Greg Frazier. He's um, shot Rogue One. Oh, okay. Some of the cinematography for Rogue One. Okay. Also known for some Mandalorian. Okay. Yep. A little bit of Mandalorian. So, yeah. Especially no. that, if he's done anything on that first and, season And of the Batman, I believe, he also worked in on. Okay, so, yeah. the, the he's, latest Batman. He's got a he's got a good eye. He's got a good eye. Yeah, got a good eye. And of course, the music. In case I've never really talked about the music in movies too much in our reactions, but I actually really love music a lot. Is my favorite current modern composer, and that's going to be Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer. Oh and yeah, hands down. There's some that. good. I'm per, I'm pretty sure they bring it back for the second movie as well. But there's some it's the like themes a, and stuff. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah, I think I've heard that in the trailer. It's something like that. I don't really know much, again, about Dune. I know it's uh, based on that book uh, by Frank Herbert. I know that's an iconic book. It might be something I have to add to the reading list. I'm excited to dig into this. Right, it is a long movie, so hopefully it's attention grabbing for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see. Any other things you want to talk about? This is we... my first time watching it since I seen it in theaters when it came out. And I'm going to appreciate the subtitles because some of the stuff, they happen too fast. And I was like, what did you say? But that's all I got. I'm it excited to watch this so I can watch Dune 2 because I heard Dune 2 is... Yes, Amazing. We'll, 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 uh, Dune 2 comes out soon, and we'll both be reacting to that for the first time. He uh, neglected to see it in theaters, fortunately. Yes. Mm -hmm. Get a nice, fresh, pure reaction to Dune Part 2. If you'd like the full-length watch-along reaction, do check out our Patreon. You'll need another video and another monitor on your phone to watch along with us. We'll provide a 10-second countdown timer, and it starts at 0, zero. We'll provide a timer to try and keep along with, but uh, what I've now, now done is I show like the first little bit of the first scene, so that way you can make sure you're in sync, and then I shut that off because of course copyright we can't show the whole movie you damn right and again can't. that is a full length watch along there's no cuts uh, we do cut some things out of our reactions sometimes there are some jokes we make that are just a little too inappropriate for youtube and such like that check it out if you're interested in supporting us thank you everything's good there's a um bugs bunny cameo oh for real mm -hmm. at the end
Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I kind of already wish I saw this in theaters. Yeah, it has, it's definitely cinematic for sure. Rolling over the sands, you can see spice in the air. I do know that spice is like the drug that they trade in this like realm. Mm -hmm. The Harkonnens came long before I was born. By controlling spice production, they became obscenely rich. So this is like the empire. Emperor himself. Yeah. Yeah, there's like the emperor and then houses. And she was talking about House Harkonnen. Oh, yeah, they got some guerrilla warfare yeah. tactics. Yeah. They're like um, the Tusken Raiders from Star Wars. Oh. Very interesting ship design. That's how I be sitting on my bed. My mom wake me up from school. <laughs> Sit on there for 10 minutes. Caladan. House of Trades. Their home world. The Trades nuts. Yeah. It's good you're up, buddy. Shut up. Father wants you in full dress before the Emperor's Herald arrives. The Herald must be like the hand. Military. A ceremonial. Turn up my headphones. This is one of those movies where it's very quiet and very loud. Oh, right. And that's going to annoy the shit out of me. If she said, if you want it, make me give it to you. Just woke up. Out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to say more? <laughs> give me the water. I was like a little superpower of his. Uh, yeah. Uh, she was, she told him to use the voice. I know Jesuit skills take years to learn, Paul. You look tired. More dream. His name's Paul? Yeah. What a sci-fi name. Long exposure to spice has given the tribe their characteristic blue eyes. Oh, okay. Little else is known of the Fremen, except that they are dangerous and unreliable. I feel like they're called Fremen because it's like free men. Yes. Like Simon. See me. Nasty. To find safe paths between the stars. Without spice, interstellar travel is impossible. Interesting. Their ships are so. look like big old fleshlights. It's interesting the way they went about the exposition to make it look like, well, he's just studying. But it was really for us. It's a right. nice. Yeah. That's, that's a smart way yeah, to do exposition. It's a nice way. I can't see the spill, but I spilled my coffee. I synced it. Man, look at all these Mysterios. Damn, they got black people in this? Nah, I'm just kidding. Of course they do. I won't stand for it. <laughs> hey, careful. Don't piss him off. He got some alter egos. Yeah. Moon Knight. Reference. That must be daddy. Smile, Gurney. I am smiling. Just like Thanos. How much will it cost them? Half, half of all their fuel. Three guild navigators, a total of 1.46 million six. Wow, he's like a human calculator. Damn, that's kind of legit, I ain't gonna lie. His eyes went back and he calculated that so fast. Representatives of the Spacing Guild and a sister of the Bene Gesserit. Bene Gesserit. Bene Gesserit, what's that? The lady is a part of it. His mom is a part of it. They're like witches, of kind of. And serve us. Oh, I see. They're giving Arrakis to House Atreides. Correct. We are House Atreides. There is no call. We do not answer. There is no faith that we betray. The Emperor asks us to bring peace to Arrakis. I feel like peace already there. Y'all just really bringing war. <laughs> also, that's a long way to say yes. Right. That's how I be when I put the candles on the birthday desserts. <laughs> Your seal. I feel like they could email this. Right? <laughs> Can we do a virtual conference call? Imagine that lady has like a, a really high top fate. 
<laughs> underneath that hat. It's done. Man, I came all that way just to fist bump. Would you like to move to Arrakis? Yes. Okay, everyone go home. That's a nice ship. Better than the... That's pretty sleek. The round, bulbous ships. I feel like this might be more like a ship equipped for fighting versus the other one just transport. Bro, spoilers. <laughs> My boy. My boy. So you're going to Arrakis tomorrow. Drogo. Yes, I'm going to Arrakis. Aquaman. Rapist. <laughs> Drogo. And Daenerys. What's going on? Can I trust you with something? Always, you know that. Well, you got to ask somebody if you can trust them. Maybe you can't. Just say it. I've been having dreams. Martin Luther King. Oh, he about to get shot. I do find them. There you go. That's a good omen right there, right? No, he saw you working with him. I saw you lying dead. Oh, never mind. <laughs> You'd be alive. There's a little beetle. what that mean? First off, I'm not gonna die. Everybody dies. <laughs> That's why you want to come with me. Listen, dreams make good stories. So do deaths. Hey, you. you want some muscle? I did? No. <laughs> I did not know. I did not remember he was gonna say that, but uh, you ain't gotta lie to me. It's okay. Trust me, trust me. I really didn't remember, but I know yeah, you're not no, gonna believe no, me. No, no, no. You, but, you in my position when we watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, they be thinking we just know. And when I saw Jamie's hand get chopped off, <laughs> and it was like, you seen this? And I was like, not that episode. I'm picking up. I feel like. From what I'm context clues, just the trailer, I'm feeling like the sun isn't gonna want to liberate Arrakis. I studied the Fremen land. Okay. I feel like he's gonna want to defend them. The future of House Atreides. And grandfather fought bulls for sport. Yes. Look where that got him. And he's like, um, what's his name from Shogun? A little. Oh, a little bit. Um, yeah. Damn it, what's the fucking name? Nakato? Na yeah, Nakato. Nakagato. Nakagato. Desert? Political danger. The great houses look to us for leadership. I think this is a cemetery. Looks like it. Which would weaken both houses. But if we hold firm, we tap the true power of a... Oh, I see. I see what the emperor is doing. Here on Caladan, we ruled by air power and sea power. On Arrakis, we need to cultivate desert power. The smart man. Mm -hmm. The desert storm. I want you sitting in on my council. Learn what I do. What if I'm not that? Not what? He's a fighter. Oh, my father and I didn't want this either. I wanted to be a pilot. Boo. He never told me that. Hey, he didn't want you to be doing that shit. <laughs> a great man doesn't seek to lead. He's called to it. And he answers. Yeah, that's true. And if your answer is no, you'll still be the only thing I ever needed you to be. My son. Damn, you telling me he's like a good dad? What the hell? Uh, that's rare. What kind of movie is this? Yeah, hold on a second. This is bad writing. <laughs> he clearly needs to have daddy issues. I found my own way to it. Yo, he literally did not push. That is like the opposite of the cliche. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I actually yeah, yeah. really like that. Yeah. Turned you on? A little bit. Kind of bricked up right now. A little brick. A little brick. Like a clay stone. Oh, a chub. Yeah. Just a little pebble on the on the floor kind of thing. Tells you by your footsteps, Gurney Halleck. Someone might imitate my stride. I know the difference. You... Is Gurney uncle? Duncan, Idaho gone. Must make do as I don't know what I choose your blade. Had quite a day, Gurney. I think this is his name. I know this is his name. I was just wondering if like if he was like a family member or not. I, That's rude. Bro missed on purpose. The hell does that do? I think it's like armor. For, I think. Come on. Interesting. Oh man. Maybe to help them pra practice yeah. real blades. Yeah. Slow blade penetrates the shield. 
Guess I'm not in the mood today. Mood? Yeah. What's mood to do with it? Yeah, it's discipline, buddy. Necessity arises, no matter the mood. Now, Thanos. Damn, I like this. I like I like <laughs> seeing Brolin actually act. Not that he didn't act with Thanos, but it's more of a voice acting. Yeah. Huh. Ooh. Uh, uh. Ooh. Ooh. I have you. I. I'm gonna look down. I was gonna say he also got you, right? Join me in death. Yeah. I see you found the mood. <laughs> in your eyes, I need to see it in your eyes. You never met Harkonnens before. I have. Oh. They're not human. They're brutal. Oh wow. You have to be ready. He is intense. I would not want to fight him in battle and like on the field as a guy that seems relentless. This must be House Harkonnen. Yep. Damn. That was a good guess, brother. Well, they just talked about it, you know, and then they cut to this evil fucking looking machine city. Bald head. Oh, is this Dave Bautista? He, he's House Harkonnen? Because okay. he got a bald head, so. Hey, that's the guy who plays in fucking Ant-Man. <laughs> they look like they all have bald heads. He's one of the um, guys with T.I. Yeah. I know. Mm-hmm. Is that a baby right there? <clears throat> that's a big ass baby. It's some titties. No, but there's a baby he's holding that look like. The last of our ships have left Arrakis. It's done. Very good. Is, is he naked? Yeah. He's double caked up on a Tuesday naked. How can the Emperor take everything we built? <laughs> <laughs> My guy looks like a mafia gangster. That is a gift, not a gift. Still in Skarsgård. Yeah. Bro is a jealous man. A dangerous, jealous man. He's scary. Yeah. He seemed like the emperor. This is a cool very, design for a ship. It's very weird, yeah. but it's pretty cool. I just don't understand how, where the propulsion is to, for it to move, but... Spice. Fuck physics, am I right? Spice, baby. Don't recall this scene? It was probably boring. No, I'm just kidding. She looked like she's going insane. She's scared. They really pull up. I was like, they, look, they look clean. I know <laughs> the, they just got that on because it's raining. Just, I was just about to say that's a clean shot, though. Yeah. I was like, that shot they was really clean. Pull, with some nice music, like some music right there. They make a good scene for a fan. It is a clean shot. I like that, that cut. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong? Wish Rebecca Ferguson wake me up. Get dressed and come with me. Someone die. She was my teacher at the Bene Gesserit school. She's now truth sayer to the emperor himself. She would like to meet you. Oh, this is some kind of important meeting. Yes. How does she know about my dreams? Why is Dr. Yue? Told you you couldn't trust that motherfucker. Hello, young master. Your mother asked me to check your vitals. Unless mama told her about the dreams. Right. Clearly, everybody in this fucking movie serves their own designs. I don't trust nobody. I don't understand what he's... Why'd I got a bull up on the ceiling? Maybe the uh, Texas Longhorn fans. Their designs of their, like, homes is so... It's like a modern, you know, very... I don't want to say clean, because it's more ar archaic and rusty with the color scheme. But it's very... It's almost boring, but, but like in a, in a rich sexy people way. way, in a sexy way, <laughs> in a rich people way, though, you know, like when you it's see a, modern, like a, you know, you see modern homes and everything's sleek and just square yeah. and everything like that, it's like minimalistic. Or but then it has these interesting like, oh, hell no, nah, I run the fuck out of there. That's creepy as hell. Ma! I'm Paul, don't you know? Defiance in the eyes, like his father. Oh, wow. Yes. You must do everything. 
She's scared of her, and I'm kind of scared of her too. You dismissed my mother in her own house. Come here, Neil. Oh my god, that's just powerful. Holy shit. How dare you use the voice on me? Put your right hand in the box. Why? What's it do? I hold at your neck the gom jabar. Gom jabar. Poison needle. Instant death. Hell no. The test is simple. Remove your hand from the box. And you die. What's in the box? What's in the box? These nuts? Pain. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? Start chewing. Like, damn, that's painful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got no choice. Oh, she's, is she like feeling it or she just feel bad because she's put him in this torture? Silence. Damn, I can't even make no noises. Lady, you don't understand this shit hurts. She must have been through the same thing. She must know what he's going through. I don't like this religion. <laughs> Get on your knees, pray. No, no, father, no. So I want to know what the Reverend Mother's connection to the Emperor is. Like, does she work alongside him, or does she got her own fucking shit going on? Well, they has his Emperor. Which mother? That the Reverend Mother. That okay, yeah. yeah. They they called her his truth sayer, his own personal truth sayer. That's right. Okay. Enough. Their voice is like um, the Jedi mind trick, or the Jedi mind trick yeah. is like the voice, I guess, where someone get mad in the comments. Actually, none came first. If you had been unable to control your impulses like an animal, we could not let you live. You inherit too much power. That's crazy. Not because I'm a duke's son. Because you are Jessica's son. Her name is Jessica? <laughs> they have regular names. Jessica? What's his other birthright? Well, the first one. Jesus? <laughs> 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 To become a Jedi, but it's more like the other Sith. A girl on a rack. She's like, she's kind of pretty. Goodbye, young human. <laughs> I hope you live. What a ugh. Just say, have a good day. Why you gotta? <laughs> Goodbye, sir, Lord. Okay, you gonna respect House Atreides? He had to be tested to the limits. So much potential wasted in a male. What? We're told to bear only daughters. What? You could produce the Kwisatz Haderach. Was I wrong? Wow. In that room. If he is the one, he has a long way to go. Well, he's supposed to be fucking Anakin Skywalker over here, huh? We've done all we can for you. A path has been laid. Let's hope he doesn't squander it. Very interesting. The Kwisatz Haderach. So they're like an order of some dark magicians. Religious zealots. Yes. They have some kind of prophecy for the one who apparently is a male. But it wasn't supposed to be him. Well, at least they don't think. Yeah, that's a banger right there. Bene Gesserit serve as powerful partners to the great houses. But there's more to it. You steer the politics of the Imperium from the shadows. Yep. A little, a little shadow council. A mind. Powerful enough to bridge space and time. Time traveler? The three eyed raven. All part of the plan. So, Mama's the bad parent. <laughs> Got it. All of their ships look like prisons. Gee whiz. They're cool, though. Like, I'm not like hating on them. They just look very, they look so imperial, actually. Like very imperialistic designs, how I'd describe like an imperial ship if someone were to ask me. Like they, they like like it's like the Roman Empire in space. Very grand and sleek, yet heavy. That look like fucking little finger. <laughs> do 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 
I get it, Paul. Moving sucks. I love sucks. the all black drip, though. Moving sucks. They do look good. Oh, they got he, some nice. He really, if he grabs that sand, okay. I said, like, he grabs that sand. He is Anakin Skywalker. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I hate sand. All right. Time to go to Tatooine. Let's get it. I see the Star Wars inspiration. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Tatooine and Iraq is very similar. Got a little, little baby. baby I love the silence in space when we cut to the space shots. The music kind of cuts out a little bit. Yeah. I love when I do that. Interesting. What the hell is this? Yeah, these little ship designs are really cool, actually. Like, damn, it's hot as hell. I feel like the father's gonna die. Bagpipe? Curious, they don't have guns, they just stay strapped up with them daggers? Uh, I think that dude back left by the dad has a gun. It looked like, at least. Some of them look like they got longer weapons or guns over there. Yeah. My advanced team has secured the city. We're still smoothing out a few rough spots. What do you mean smoothing? That means they ain't secured it. <laughs> smoothing out a few rough spots. You see the secure or it's not. Is that who's Lisa Al Galib? Is that I feel like that's a the word. mother? I forgot what the word means. Get you out of the sun. The heat can kill in this place. Boy, it's is hot. Like a dragonfly. I feel like, I feel like something's going uh, bad's gonna happen. I'm just getting the like the tension's got to start building soon. Why was something bad happen? It's because this is like the part of the movie. They've done some world bird dealing. World bird during. Listen, Al Voice from the outer world. It's their name for Messiah. Okay, that's ah. what it kind of seemed like. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty cool ship design. It's like a play on a helicopter in a bug form. I'm very curious how much I know there's a lot of CGI in this, I'm sure. But I'm curious if they did any kind of prop design or miniatures or anything like that. Because so far the movie's looking pretty damn good. This is one of the most ugliest cities I've ever fucking seen. Uh, they do not like windows. The city looks like rocks. That's actually kind of crazy. Probably to blend in, I guess, but no, like a handprint. Almost. Oh, okay. Sounds oh. <laughs> getting too high. Need to seal the door. Oh, this is why they don't have suns. That's windows. Okay. I was wondering if there's a reason. Shower, you scrub your ass with sand, my lord. That's what <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, water don't exist in this place. Come on, you know you gotta do personality hire. You can't just go off of looks. What is your name? Shout out Mapes, my lady. Now that's a sci-fi name. Shout out Mapes. I must warn you, whatever you're hiding. Oh, gosh, you good. What? Damn, she good. The weapon is meant as a gift. Lion ass. <laughs> oh, maybe she wouldn't lie. <laughs> Do you know its meaning? I love how she's signing. Oh, what the? Is she having an orgasm? The moment of revelation is a shock. <laughs> That's my. You gonna give that to your child? You're hired. Oh, Shahalud is um, their word for that the big sandworms. Gotcha. So they got that from a teeth, a tooth from the sandworms. Definitely didn't catch That's that. That's definitely time a an accomplishment, an achievement. I'm sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Even if the sandworms already dead. The blue eyes is so cool because they're completely blue. It's yeah. not just and, the people. And it's the the environment they live in is the opposite of that color. You yeah, know, yellow it's and like orange. So so cool. Lisan Agaib, Lisan Agaib. You just walking all alone like that? Brother. You're wasting it. Oh, okay. Each one of these drinks every day the equivalent of five men. Wow, that's expensive. Not worth it. Yeah, what the fuck? Cut them shits down. hundred lives. That's crazy. Damn. Save the water. No, 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 no. These are sacred. Uh, more sacred than lives? Oh shit, that's kind of clean. They dancing. The shepherd's tree has the deepest documented roots. 
Oh, it's like a little rat. The fuck is that? Somebody spying on you? Like, what the hell is that? I can't tell if that's a bug. It looks like more like a, you know, like a drone kind of thing. Is he getting tested again? The operator must be nearby. Why? <laughs> Sire, I failed you today. There's no excuse. Wow. Sire, my honor demands. They tried to take the life of my son. I don't give a damn about your honor. Yeah, you're goddamn right. Go catch some spies. Your grace. <laughs> what the? the Fuck is this? Got a big old butt. Our pet doesn't understand your language. Get out. What the fuck is that? It understands. <laughs> <laughs> Allow them the dignity of exile. He is fucked up. I give you my word. We will not harm them. I don't trust him. We gonna kill him. <laughs> That's what he's about to say. He's too much. I said I would not harm them. <laughs> he will get someone else Arrakis to kill him. Arrakis is Arrakis. Arrakis is gonna kill him. My desert. Ooh. Oh, um. Arrakis. Beyonce? Why <laughs> do? He curvy too. Bro got bro got long legs and the hips. He said the name of the movie. Let's get started. Let's get it started in here. He'll suck at the abundance of the seas and the treasure hid in the sand. We won't see proper. He be speaking in quotes. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Speaks in scripture. How bad is it? What a cute umbrella for them. <laughs> that literally <laughs> looks like a umbrella you put over a drink. Yes. He's here, my lord. Well, that was quick. I was wondering why he was smiling. Because his favorite pilot's here. Ah, my boy. My boy. But all these people he like are gonna die, <laughs> cause character development. <laughs> right. Ten thousand people, and there are hundreds of sieges. Millions of fremen. Quick math. Duncan. Well done. Thank you, my. This is literally America coming to get oil from Iraq and trying to liberate. Mm hmm. Hold. <clears throat> Thank you, Stilgar, for the gift of your body's moisture. We accept it in the spirit in which it was given. Interesting tradition. I get it, though. Dig your spice, but when you have it, go back to the site of the shield wall. Okay, yeah, that's fair. You will address the duke as my lord or sire. Journey, just, just a moment. <laughs> you broke chill. <laughs> I'm trying to negotiate. Honor requires that I be elsewhere. Oh, he dreams about him or something? That's crazy. Romantic. Plan bears fruit, but it will take time. Yes, it will take time. Why you say it like that, bro? Right. Simple compass needle won't point north. It takes a clever piece of clockwork to sort it out. Oh, interesting. Okay. It still suits and sand compactors and all kinds of ingenious things. What the hell is a sand compactor? Compact sand. Duh. You wait till you see it. It's beautiful out there. He's like fucking Boba Fett went to live with the. <laughs> Tuscan yeah, Raiders. Tuscan Raiders yeah. <laughs> He's like, hey man, they're chill. To be honest, they're not evil like we thought they was. It's like a fucking hot air balloon. The best. With your permission, sire, I must check the integrity of your system. Oh. Be quick with it. It's alright. It's alright. Bro, he's so protective. I ain't gonna lie, if I want someone to protect me, I'll take it. It cools the body. Interesting. And recycles the water lost to sweat. Oh, so you drink ah. your, you're gonna be drinking your own sweat? Inside the mask, you'll find a tube to allow you to drink the recycled water. I don't think it's gonna Ugh. taste that great. Your desert boots are fitted slip fashion at the ankles. Who taught you to do that? Seen the right way. Nobody. I just natural. I'm the one, baby. I am accepted in both siege and village. Now, come and see the spice sands on which your livelihood depends. She said her vibe is universal. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this movie is way more like engaging and, and, and like entertaining the second time around. Because before that, I feel like the first time I watched it, especially without subtitles, 
Maybe. trying to grasp what was happening. Maybe you weren't prepared to take in all the new knowledge to in the world building. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't want to go down. It's a lot to to handle. Yeah. Dust cloud. Plus, I've since after my first time watching it, I watched like a breakdown video on it too, so that helps. Uh oh, spaghettio. Is that the harvester they just sent out? See the spice scattered over Possibly. The oh, it's working. I thought it was like smoking because it was broke. I was gonna say, I think it's just harvesting. Yeah. Better view. Is he flying the thing down? Worm always comes. Always. They're drawn by rhythm. So how do you protect the fucking crawlers? Seven kilometers. Delta Ajax Snyder, this is part of one. One sign confirmed. Yeah, so what do they do? How do they? They must do something to distract it or something. Prepare to be in 30 seconds. Brace yourselves. I love the radio calls are very like, like, I feel like they're more realistic. Yeah. The the mixing and editing on them. Yes. That, the, the way they sound for sure. We'll find a way. This is a good leader, bro. Bro, he's, he's stepping oh, the action leader. so fast. Yeah, he's a good leader. I like him a lot. Good dad, good leader. He about to die here. Good dad, good leader. <laughs> the, the doctor is probably like, hey, uh, we don't have to do this. this yeah, it's is, fine. Uh, we normally, normally the Harkonnens just let them die, so. Fight them in. Delta Ajax Niner with seven men each in my ships now. God damn, I love this dude, bro. He's like, let's fucking go. Oh, man, I don't know. I feel like one of these ships going to crash or something. They're taking the shields out, so now they, uh, they're they susceptible to attack. It's kind of crazy. Yep. And it's Skywalker. <laughs> Maybe the opposite. Maybe he loves... Oh, you can see, like, the red spice. <laughs> Bro, Paul, what are you doing? Are you trying to help them or are <laughs> you just chilling? I want to come out and watch the rescue i'm curious that voice he has can it like can it affect like the worms and stuff like that too i feel like potentially if it's strong enough or like other creatures well that the the witch lady used it to tell that little bug thing to go away and does it but does with. it only affect that's true i was wondering if it only affects people of the religion or something the uh the sandworms was inspired by um that one episode of spongebob i don't know if you've seen it inspired by what that one episode of Spongebob. Bro, we need to put that mask on. Is the worm communicating with them? Because that's how to rap. Or is he hearing like the people of the, in the caves? Because that's how to rap. What the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> oh, get a God damn. Bro's in a trance. I recognize him. Oh, damn. They were hit. That was him. He recognized him. Why is y'all... Bro, y'all running slow as God fuck. Damn. That's sand, bro. I feel like it's hard to run. <laughs> Have you ran in sand before? <laughs> Play beach volleyball? Like, that's just not fair, easy. Fair. Yeah. Especially, it's not the same. It's even and worse it's than... It's, it's, it's like all moving It's shit? worse than beach volleyball, too, because it's, it's dry. Like, it's in his feet, feet yeah. of it, hundreds of foot of the, sand. Um, the wet sand is more solid. Bless the maker and his water. What water? I ain't no water on this planet. Cleanse the world. Oh my god. God damn. Now this planet is fucking dangerous. That looked like the fucking what the, is that the, thing? The, the pit, the what's it called yes, pit in Star the Wars? Yeah, the Sarlacc Sarlacc pit. pit. Yeah. yeah. That's obviously Damn, they literally took everything from this. That's what Star do. Wars took a lot. They got lightsabers in this? <laughs> Dang. You, well they did have those those knives, that daggers that you were talking yeah. about. Take so it sounds like the Emperor set it up so that Atreides is going to fail so the Harkonnens can come back, wage war on them, and eliminate them. Ah. Is that what I'm picking up? Well, they... what's Because the Emperor's his... jealous of his rising power or something? Yeah, that's what they've been saying. And Probably. Leto even hinted or, like, suspected that that's what they were trying to do, like... Yeah. Plant seeds of hatred and whatnot. Resentment. 
Oh, he he touched the spice. That's right. Ah. Zendaya, Zendaya, Zendaya. What does Queezy have to rack? That's uh, the chosen one. Okay. So that's what they're calling him. Yeah. Or Queezy had a rack. Oh, yeah. Queezy had a rack. He's falling in love in dreams, bro. Zendaya, Zendaya. You think Tom Holland watched this movie? <laughs> I don't I know did. if I could watch a movie. I don't know if I. It's not that I couldn't watch a movie with my girlfriend in it kissing another dude. I just don't know if I would want to. Yeah. Because it would hard be hard to appreciate the act. Oh, she stabs him. I feel him. like if you oh, already. Oh, shit, she stabs him? God damn. Oh, he saw his death? Oh, my God. Don't be acting like you are surprised. Some stuff I don't, I truly don't remember. I thought I saw my... But I think it's going to be like that much blood. Important. Somehow. Part of a ritual, maybe? Maybe her second child is the one. Salusa uh, Secundus. Imperial Army Planet. No man is spitting fucking bars right now. Duncan, Idaho. So we are the finest ones in the Legion, motherfucker. Man, she upset that she's pregnant or that he knows that she's pregnant. Mama kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. My ex's name was Jessica, so I'm just gonna attribute it to that. She just worried. Just kidding, Jessica. In case you watch this video, I don't think you're crazy. With my life. I'm not asking his mother. I'm asking the Bene Gesserit. Ooh. 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 Why are you having these thoughts? That wasn't a yes. <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't a yes. He's supposed to be protected, though, by them. That lady was going to kill him if he moved his hand from that box, though. It was a move of discipline, though. She's testing him. Yeah, but if he failed it. <laughs> yeah, but he passed it, so now they got to protect him. <laughs> okay, fair. They about to go to war. Damn, that's a bull. Hey, you ever heard of knocking, bro? Yeah, what the hell? Good night, Dr. Eli. What is that pill? Why does he have to take it? It's ED medication. <laughs> <laughs> they be taking sleeping pills? They about to make another baby? Oh, wait, what? They're not married? What? Now I'm confused. Oh, ooh. oh, they're about to die. Did it paralyze them or something? Y'all only got three guards outside your bedroom? Oh, the shield's powering? Uh oh, there's some. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, bro, wake up. Something wrong. You can tell. Nope. Okay, <gasps> no, that's... Oh my god. Oh, it's gonna penetrate. It's gonna keep going. And... Oh. Fuck. The question is is it the desert people or is it the empire that's doing this? Oh, the doctor? Get everything with guns off the ground. Go! Well, they're about to get fucked up. Oh my god. What kind of bomb is that? God damn. Wow. Pop out. Pop. Pop out. Pop. Ooh. Bro, y'all fucked. Damn. 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 Gonna, damn. Yeah. Damn, the ship's got them shields on them too. Them little. Damn. Ooh. Bro, that that this, all their ships is getting just ever. They're gone. This is the worst day ever. Mm, uh. Maybe they don't have guns because of the shields. Like guns make shields or shields make guns pointless. Yeah, and he said the slow blade is what gets pierces the shield. Yeah. Like the slow so attack. So fast projectiles get burned up. Yeah. They just I love the bagpipe theme with the war music, actually. 
But they got to do a little dance before they get yeah. going. Get them in the mood. Uh, uh. They're going to drop sh- troops right behind them. Yep. Oh. They got strategy, bro. Oh, they oh dropped the bad, the bad boys. Oh, Fucking my God. Goddamn stormtroopers over there. <laughs> they made quick ass work, oh bro. Oh, my God. They even stood back. They could have been fighting from both sides. Damn. Oh no, the doctor found him and is trying to help him? No choice. Tarkin has had my wife, Mona. Mm. Mm. They take her apart like a doll. They're probably still not trustworthy, though. It will be your last breath. But if you choose your moment well. Well, very interesting. You can go, you, he going to take out the Baron. He betraying, but not betraying at the same time, right? He's like, I had to do it for my wife. You don't, you get, you get me, right? Oh, don't kill mama. Damn, they burned the sacred trees. Oh my god, all that fucking water they was using to keep them shits alive. So Dave Bautista evil. Oh, they're slicing heads. God damn. Oh my lord. Bro. I understand you can make blades really sharp, but it really must take a lot of power to slice a head clean. Yeah, like that when he's just doing it backhand. Because I'm pretty sure even guillotines during like the French era when they used them didn't even slice them clean and they were using gravity. Oh, and damn. They, like, they might have had to like pull them up a second time sometimes. Damn, imagine hey, surviving this- the first guillotine strike. Yeah, and then like they your head's like it. half off and you're still alive. Oh my god. Well they say when your head gets cut off and it rolls down or whatever, like you're still you're still active for a few seconds. Ah, your brain still feels it. Like, I don't even know if you feel it because your nerves are all fucked, but like you can process it apparently a little bit. Look it looked like a boy. Bruh, them hand signals coming in handy. Yeah, they do, they Get do, they handy. do. Handy. <laughs> God damn. Well, that's just rude. Come on now. There gotta be some friendly fire there because y'all troops is down there now. Remember, Thanos was like, Ray fire. Let's fire our troops. Just do it. This is probably where he dies because he said he saw him, his body. Ooh, uh. E E ah. Dang, he better than Drogo. They actually backed off of that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> they say, you know what? We just let him live. He's fine. Yeah. Oh, wow. He blew their shit up. He said, I'm going down without a, with a fight. Damn, that laser is missing the fuck out of you, bro. Who, who is piloting that thing? It's so crazy, though, too, because if the Harkonnens is attacking, like they're attacking. This is where they lived. So is this the land they want back? Because they're fucking it up. I mean, they can rebuild, right? Yeah, but still. It's like, damn, they're going to have a lot of cleanup. The whole plan was to trap the Atreides on this planet. Give give a legal reason, probably, for the Harkins to, to attack them and defeat them. Because they took them out. But they said there was millions of sand people. So, like, if they ally themselves with the desert people, they can they can take out these motherfuckers. I feel like that doctor's gonna get the short end of the stick. You've never had a highborn. What? Don't be disgusting. He, he's trying to. He's debating using the voice, huh? I believe in you, bro. You a Jedi? Yeah, concentrate. Focus. Fuck this motherfucker. Come on, up. brother. Oh, and then she can use a voice because she knows how to use it. Oh, yo, they are so dangerous. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Oh, my God. Holy oh my God. shit. That was so close. Oh, my God. This is a crazy power. Oh, Ooh. shit. Bro, they are OP. <laughs> Your pitch was too forced. <laughs> <laughs> but I did it. I literally did it, Mom. Come on. Give me a bat in the back or something. Y'all, you got to walk like the sand people. Don't walk normally. Don't run. Oh, well, Don't. nope. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, 
4th of July. I don't think they was claiming independence. Mm. Papa. Papa gone. Well, not really, I guess, but he gonna be. So he took his shirt off? Little freak. I wonder what the symbolism is with that. Maybe that's like their Bull. house symbol or something. Yeah, maybe. Damn, they took all his clothes off? Y'all's freaky. This is weird. Y'all, that is just, wow. He's like, ah, feels good to be home. <laughs> Another wonderful kitchen cousin. Cousin? Cousin? Wow. So their houses are related. Lord Baron. Dr. Yue. The traitor. <laughs> I think I'm going to kill him. I traded for you. I betrayed for you. And what was I to do for you? Deliver my wife from her agony. Yeah, she already dead. Here's her ashes. Oh my god. I oh love my. how he's blurred out in the background, oh right? Like it's very, very sinister. Big old belly. I said I'd set her free. Oh but my god. Oh, uh, she's dead. So join her. Wow. Told you, bro. She was already fucking dead. The thing dead. is, he could have just set her free. Like, he just wanted to kill. No, he, he just she wanted to kill her. Dead. That's what I'm saying. Like, he could have kept her alive and got what he wanted. He but just he's wanted to type, kill her. But he's not That's, I'm type, say, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, he's just evil for the sake of it. He didn't have to kill the wife. Your son is dead. Your concubine is dead. Tonight, the house of a trade is... I don't know if that poison's going to kill that big-ass motherfucker. What did you say? I said your mama's a bitch. Damn. Took one for the team. <laughs> they just closed the door. <laughs> That's it. Fuck that shit. Damn. The Emperor's gonna be real happy. Both houses are gone. He's like, yeah, alright, move in, <laughs> oh. boys. Move in. <laughs> they find out he dead. Because it basically that means he dead. Get in the ring. You are now the king, the lord of the house. Now it's time for you to answer the call, as your father said. You're a good daddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to see him go. Damn, he took them all out. Hell yeah. Did the big dude really die? I feel like big dude not dead. <laughs> what was that saying? Somebody said in a movie, it was like... um Assholes live forever. Yeah. <laughs> like dickheads always be fucking surviving shit. Oh, oh my! God. What is that on the? That's him. That's his fat ass. Was he talking about the little snake thing? Yeah, that's his fat. Ass. That's his long ass shit. No. Yeah, they're taking him in now. They got him on like a stretcher. The fuck is that? <laughs> the thing on the ceiling was him. No, really? Yeah. So that was all his behind left left there. No, that was just some machine, whatever the part uh, of their stretcher or medical equipment that they use. But he had flew to the ceiling because he could fly, and he clung up there for his life. That's crazy. He's kind of choking. I knew he wasn't gonna fucking die. He's too fucking. He's too bald. Too Stellan Starzard. And they are. Though they are quick and nimble and like agile. Oh, that's him. I wonder if mama died. I feel like mama probably gonna die eventually too. Because he don't be seeing mama in these visions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gonna get them blue eyes too, huh? In my name. Everyone shouting my name. He kind of sounds like his father a little bit. Yeah, like they did I, a good job picking a son. Yeah. I can hear it. Like I can hear the tone. Mm. The worm's gonna gobble that motherfucker. Up. Oh damn. god, damn! He's sweating like a motherfucker, and he's in shade right now. He is drinking his own sweat. Yep. Oh no, that's them. Oh, they were under the sand. Oh, uh, 
Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. I thought they just had like a little tent thing or what they, which they did, but I thought it was like over this. I, I see. I see now. I see what happened. Look at that little rat thing. You better hope that's friendly. I would feel bad, actually. I really like this father. He's a chill guy. Cross swords with the starter car. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> the Emperor forbids me from saying anything at all. And yet you risk your life to help us. Yo, force her to say that shit. Mm -hmm. She her, know what's right and wrong. Hand in the fucking box. She know they good people because they saved those people when the sandworm attacked. So. Yeah. She's like, dang, y'all way better than my old boss. Little sandstorm coming in. They were meant to tame the planet. Free the water locked beneath the sands. So what happened? Arrakis could have been a paradise. The work had begun, but then the spice was the Oh, they don't want. Yeah, I see. Leave. Yeah, coffee service, please. Of course. Yes. Coffee? They got coffee up Y'all can't be wasting water on coffee. Yes, they can. Hold on now. <laughs> coffee is not good. Coffee is delicious. It's life. Look at all that green. Mm. <laughs> They just spit in there? Ew. Maybe I don't want that coffee. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking for them. They're hunting. There you go. Touching the sand again. You know you're addicted to the sand, bro. Yeah. You're extra sensitive to it. This happened to us here. And started a car coming and picking them off one by one. Yep. Yeah, I bet. The Emperor feared the Atreides. He brought you here to kill you. What don't you understand? Clearly, yeah. You're a lost boy hiding in a hole in the ground. No, we're hiding in the holy ground. Okay. I'm, I am the one. I know you loved a Fremen warrior and lost him in battle. Ooh. Ooh. I know you walk in two worlds that are known by many names. Bro is becoming the Messiah. You've seen your dream. It was like brand. <laughs> yeah. See, three out of raven. Oh my god, that's just. I don't trust that dude. They they shouldn't. They was on that shot too long. He's a traitor. <laughs> that's a, yeah. I'm, I know my movies. <laughs> Damn, they falling so silently. They know where they are. Yeah, he's a traitor. Oh, that's not the Harakan. That's the fucking Sardushka. I forgot their name. Harkonnen. No, that's not the Harkonnen. I'm saying that's the Sardushka. Sadukar. Yeah, Sadukar. But you had said Harakan first. Oh, I, yeah. I want to pronounce everything wrong. I'm sorry, guys. That's what I'm here I'm, for. I got a little dyslexia in my brain. Sadukar. Trapped up, bitch. Oh. Yeah. I forgot what they're called, but I like them. Who are the same people called? What? Fremen. Fremen, yeah. That little beetle thing. Muffled thudding. Yeah, you hear it. You hear it. You hear it. music playing. Only the fools would eat, meet the Fremen out on an open field. The Dothraki. You gotta take out the gloves for this one. You gonna stand right in front of the door? Yeah. Back up a little. Oh, this is where he dies. My bro going out with a f what a fucking fight. Damn, they kill off everybody in this motherfucker. I like the visual impact so you can tell what has actually hit them. Right, versus the blue and red. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that was like a wrestling move. I didn't need the red for that one. I could tell that hit. <laughs> Damn, five more. The fuck is that thing that dude's holding? Maybe it's a battering ram or something. Yeah, I think it's like a battering ram or something. Oh, it's a laser. Okay, well, it's opening the door. Ooh. There was no point in locking the. Oh, hell. Oh, this man is, he is not going out without a fight. And there's more people behind him, too. Why'd you yell? You could have just stopped. <laughs> All right. God damn it. This fight seems really cool. But they could have just closed the door immediately and ran out that back. You know what I'm saying? 
with him. Oh yeah. You know what I'm they saying? They could have closed the other, like the door that he walked behind. Yeah, they could have closed that. Closed. I guess he had the locker from that side, maybe. I guess, but maybe that's the only reason. Oh, that's true. Somebody had why. to. Somebody had to be on that side to lock it. Maybe I don't. That doesn't make sense to me. But why would you have to be on the other side to lock it? I'm Fremen. The desert's my home. I know what to do. Y'all don't know what to do. <laughs> why are you running? You gotta do the little dance. That thing is small. I feel so claustrophobic already. Oh, they got like a baby dragonfly. Yeah. Like I do not. I would not feel safe in that. Just it's just because it's small. Though it's probably fast. Y'all need to get that thing started quicker. Oh fuck. There we go. Toot that thing up, mommy. Let it roll. Let it show. Gave it to you. There you go, Timothy. 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 Chalamet. Oh, maybe is she calling the worm? I feel like that's a strategy. Yeah, she's calling the worm. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's a strategy. Oh, it was close by. Yeah, you didn't see it earlier when it was when she walked out. No. Yeah, she saw it in the distance. Oh, she about to ride it? Oh, she can ride it? Oh. Yo. No, I was ready for her to ride that shit. Oh, my God. Bro, that was going to be so cool. They killed her. I did not remember that. Wow. Oh, and there's a uh, water coming from her suit. Yeah. I serve only one master. His name is Shai Halud. Sandworm. Woo! Yeah, you guys are fucked. <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, if I was going to die, saying... if I was going to die, I'd rather be killed by a sandworm. It seemed fun. I guess so. Yeah. Maybe it's too sharp, though. Sandworm hole look kind of sus. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. Oh, they're being chased. Did Gurney die? I, or did we just assume Didn't he's dead? see him die, but I would, the assumption is that he's yeah. dead. Yeah. Um, it would have got some missiles at him. I was gonna say the smoke might help those missiles not be able to. Yeah. Oh, they fuck. It's like a tornado. They just. Oh my god. This is a very clean scene, but it's also dirty. Gotta let that fear run through you. Let it run over. The mystery of life isn't a problem to solve. Jameis. Who's that? We must move with the flow of the process. Like the future is helping him guide him through the present. He literally said, let God take the wheel. Let Jesus, Jesus take the wheel. Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> take it from my head. What the hell? I can't do this on my Oh, this must be the evil guy. He must, this must be like a hospital and he's like healing or something. Because they get they look like a medical and type And they bald. With black That's the telltale eyes. sign for Ooh, bath time. It. Bold and black eyes, black goo. Everything black with them. Except for them. Except for the people. <laughs> I was just about to say the same thing. Was except for their people. Papa. I thought it was his uncle. Into our Coriolis oh, tree. uncle. <laughs> Nothing survives such a storm. They're dead. Uh, unless you see them, they ain't dead. Certainty. Movie logic. Hey, look at those traps. In selling us by the reserve, but slowly. We don't want the prize to fall. Aha, uh -huh, wow. I only have one requirement. Income. <laughs> the way he's looking at him. Squeeze hard. Is that Ribbon? Ribbon? Did he say? Robin, Ribbon, yeah. Kill them all. There's a lot Kill of them. all the Fremen? Damn. There's a lot of them, though. Y'all got a lot of faith. Wahoo! 
the rise of Paul Atreides. And his mom. Duke Paul Atreides. Duke. Put the respect on that name. Pardon me, pardon me. Duke Paul Atreides. First of his name, King of the Andals, King of the Fremen. Uh, there's a wing missing or not retracted. Y'all just gliding. Actually, it's kind of smart. He ain't put his blinker on. What if this whole time they've been in the storm and they've just been making one big circle? Oh, right. <laughs> they run right back into the people who are chasing them. As soon as we land, run for the rocks. Oh, because the worm's going to come. Uh, don't think you were expecting that. Well, man's one hell of a pilot. This is literally the inspiration for Anakin Skywalker. Oh, yeah, he, he was. He's a pilot living yeah. in the desert. Yep, that is. Damn. Wow. But instead of coming from a high house, he's like a slave. Yeah. You know, yeah, so. Get the fuck out of there. Come on. You said run for the rocks. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry the fuck up. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. I bet you this is infested with Fremen. Infested? Yeah. They're the infestation right there. I'm Them two. Whatever. The Fremen live there. That's their home. They are liberators and conquerors. The Fremen are infesting. That's gay. Oh, yeah. My bad, my bad. Just kidding. Hey, they didn't even try to go behind no rocks or nothing. <laughs> just getting undressed and just turn around. Dang, I forgot she pregnant this whole time. She what? She's pregnant this whole time? Oh, yeah. That baby already gone through so much trauma. Oh, there goes Fred. I named this worm Fred. I wonder how they have sex, the worms. Yeah, do how they, they how they reproduce, yeah. Yeah. Do they have How penises? do like actual worms have sex? I don't I'm assuming they're probably a type of organism that doesn't actually have sex and they probably just don't need to have sex to reproduce. They just like shed <laughs> off a cell and it turns into like another one or whatever, like plants do kind of. Somebody in, with a science major is gonna shit on me right now, but in the comments. Oh, almost like how plants just drop seeds and it makes more of the same plant. Yeah, I mean, they need pollen from another plant or whatever, but oh, like a tree with an acorn. Yeah. Zendaya. I feel like she's going to say like one word and then the movie's going to cut. I will show you the ways of the desert. I would not want to live in a desert. Just saying. It's hot. I hate hot. I prefer cold. I mean, if I had to choose, I would go desert over like snow area. Nope. I'm the opposite. So you rather live in like an igloo area? Yeah. Well at least you got you got water, I guess. Yeah. Drinking house on sweat would be bad. I would not like that. Nah. That means Fremen live there. Greenery, really? They got some greenery on this planet? Oh, they did say they keep some of the like bushes alive or something from the like deep plants. I remember that. I think this is the right direction. <laughs> now, <I hope. laughs> you think? <laughs> Those look like regular steps to me, brother. Mama tired. Come on, mama. You got this. Okay, I see them sliding their feet now. Mm. The desert at night seems kind of pretty. Pretty chill. I bet it's still fucking hot, though, in this mm. planet because of how hot it is and during the day. Mm. Oh. Fremen walk just right. <laughs> yeah, get to the rocks. Get to the rocks. <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh, uh, you just called it. Run. Regular run. <laughs> Can you really outrun that motherfucker? One of y'all dip left, the other one dip right. It can't get both of you. Well, it could probably, but still. Oh, mom might die right here. Oh, shit. Get the hell up. Normally, they come from like underneath. The underbelly. That is a sight to behold. Oh. Oh. Hey, I'm Fred. Nice to meet you. God damn.
That's kind of crazy, but it doesn't have eyes, right? Anywhere? So it's just kind of hears. Oh, I feel like. Oh. Interesting. Oh my god. He just said hi to you. Are they calling? What does that mean? Oh, a thumper calls it. Yeah. Don't diddly, don't, 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 don't. All right, now y'all be easy. Sand waves. And it sounds almost like water when they crash into. Ah, you're laying right into their trap. You know they're all up in there. We are not alone. But that sign language is key. You will only waste your body's water. Oh. Facts. I ain't got nowhere to run anyway. This is the boy I told you about. We can't touch him. Yep. Mm -hmm. There was a brave crossing they made in the path of Shai Hulud. Yeah. He does not speak or act. I was about to say, that ain't no weakling to cross like that. You help us off world to Caladan, you will be well rewarded. What wealth can you offer beyond the water in your flesh? But be ready to use that we voice. Can, we can bring you more water. All right. Let's get yes, it. We got to do this. Let's get it. Damn. Can't use the voice on him. Oh, she she one upped him. She'll cut my throat. I forgot she can fight. Why didn't you say you were a weirding woman and a fighter? Conversation <laughs> ran short. Yeah. Peace. I judged hastily. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanna lick us at see her. I like mama now actually. I ain't know that Ben and Jezzeret could fight, too. I would not have let you hurt my friend. Damn. There she is. Zendaya. Hey, baby. You don't know me, but... You stabbed me in my dream. And I kiss you. But the strongest leads. She mastered you. Ah, uh, yep. God damn. Don't do this. Don't. The night is fading. Then the sun will witness this death. God damn. What'd you say about my mama? Yeah, I'm gonna put you in your place. Neville knew, knew it was right. He don't like dialogue. Paul Chase just stepped up. Hey, I like it though. I yeah, do like the that's chance. what I'm saying. Yeah. You realize how much you don't need it. Sometimes. It's very powerful. Yeah, very very powerful. I don't think we've had a monologue in this movie yet. No, not really. No. Yeah, that's fair. No true like long. But those are typically, those typically are in shows. So he is, you gonna be reborn as the, <laughs> the one. I don't believe you're the Lison Al Gahib. But I want you to die with honor. There's a blade you need to accept. Give me that. Give me that. It's made from a tooth of Shai Halud, the great sandworm. This will be a great honor for you to die holding it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I believe you're gonna die, but here you go, man. Get some honor. Where's the outworlder? Bro, shut up. He's Calm right down. there, bro. <laughs> He's literally right there. <laughs> Fighter. He won't let you suffer. <laughs> bro, thanks for this pep talk. But can you leave? <laughs> Try to tell you he's in love with you. They do a great job of sometimes making them look super young as like a boy and then sometimes making them look a little older and, and how yeah. he's depicted.
They're like, can we hurry up? It's getting hot as hell. This world will kill you. Quicker this way. Huh. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. <laughs> You're a real one. Okay. <laughs> He's like, okay, maybe boy got some moves, huh? Boy got some moves. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, spin. Ooh. Kick. Oh, got him with the legs. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah, let, let me. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Do you yield? Only death is the test of it. Oh man, you gonna make me kill him? Dang, he really holding back. Man's going crazy. He's mad too because he done had the opportunity to die. He felt twice. like he's getting dishonored, probably or like disrespected. <laughs> Let him kill you, bro, so you can rise as a god. Oh, he kill him. Very efficient. <laughs> Shit, just said. Right in the back. Look at him. What the fuck? Jameis. He owed me 20 bucks. <laughs> Very interesting. I thought the voice was saying he needed to die. I was confused. I guess, but she said, when you take a life, you take your own. Mm. Like, that's it. Okay. So all them dreams of the future. So it's almost is? like you change. Every time you take a life, you change into a new person. Yeah. Someone to go uh, teach Mark Grayson. This is how you deal with death. She's like, yeah, that's my boyfriend. And my father came, not for spice, not for the riches. Yeah, but was, yeah. If you'll have us, we will come. Mama got put some respect on that. Oh, there is hell. Poor guy. If he would shut the fuck up. Yeah. Boy, that is clean. Oh, lie. damn. He like, mama, you ain't gonna be the only one pregnant soon. I'm gonna give me some, some framing action. Pretty cool. Oh, that's the original Doom movie. Well, wow, that movie sucked. No, I'm just kidding. Pretty good. Okay. That was a, a long movie. Indeed. But to be honest, I didn't. Feel that long. That was it. Has some themes of religion regarding fate and what is destined to be. It feels like I read the uh, first third of a book or first half. Yeah, it's fair. Uh, that was the biggest episode of world building and setup I've ever seen. Yeah, it was a lot. But I don't mean that in a bad way. Well, they, they still found a way to make it engaging. Yeah, it's not. It wasn't boring or anything. It's just that it was definitely a lot to take in. Like you had That's to really. Said. Okay. Sorry. That was my last one. <laughs> um, so it was like a, it was a lot to handle. He did that on purpose. <laughs> did that on purpose. I had to test you. Yeah. No diddy. No diddy. <laughs> no diddy. But yes. Overall, I'll probably give it like. I have to give it eight out of ten. Okay. Eight and a half out of ten. Okay. And that's a good score for me. Mm -hmm. Eight and a half for me is like a really good movie. Mm -hmm. Nine out of ten would be a, like excellent movie. And then ten out of ten is reserved for like my all time like favorite, like mm -hmm. what I call perfect movies for me. Mm -hmm. This is based on the feeling I'm getting from the movie. Yeah. It was very enjoyable. I may even watch it a second time. Like, okay. like he did like if I had seen it in theaters I definitely would have watched it a second time before the second one comes out because there's a lot there yeah I, I liked a lot of the characters I think a lot of I think it was very done very very well 
while I haven't read the book, I feel like it probably transcribed well from book to screen. A lot of the characters did because I feel that each moment you saw a character, you got to feel and get their personality. Like they all had quirks and you can kind of almost sense their motivations. And I like that. That was that was that was good. And you learn about the characters through their actions versus people just telling you, oh, this guy, oh Paul, he's a yes. real, real downer. Yes. Like you learn that he's kind of like a little bit brooding and dramatic, and you learn kind of why. Because he's always having these visions. He doesn't know what mm -hmm. they mean. His mom's withheld information about him uh, from him. Um But yes, it's very I would say that's a fair because the the entertainment value isn't low but it's not as high as i would put some of my favorite movies i still see it as a quality movie but i feel like i would still probably give it a nine but a nine out of ten and the pa the pacing i wouldn't say it was bad pacing but there were some moments just like huh i can't tell what part of the movie but that's just i feel like because of the nature of its place in the story the overarch story as this being a part one to a part two um Cause it felt, it always seems you almost expect the big battle to happen at the end, but it kind of happened in the middle, and then they had a lot of movie left after but that. But that it wasn't a big battle though. Like it was a battle. It was. But it, it, yeah, was not, it was not. Yeah, it was, it a was not the end of Act Two. Yeah. We it, just got the like we got the yeah. end of Act One and the beginning of Act Two essentially. Yeah. Like we. That's why I say like it felt like I read the first half of a book. We got that three arc structure. We only got through really arc one and maybe some of arc two so i see what you're saying it's like one and a half yeah because and then you get the other one and a half later yeah um it didn't build itself like a traditional movie yeah they didn't have an end of closure it didn't necessarily have a cliffhanger like we know yeah. the direction it's going mm -hmm. but it definitely didn't have an ending it's like yep, it's left open for you We're right continue it yeah. so speaking of the characters because i really like the characters um his father what was his father's name Lado atreides okay oscar isaac oh why did he, why did he, where is he out here anyway so Lado atreides oscar isaac i really enjoyed that character a lot i like that he was kind of a good father oh, he's small right there i like that he was like yeah i expect you to become the next great thing in our house and continue the bloodline and continue the work and you know continue what i'm doing but i understand why you don't want to yes and i'm not gonna push you into it right and i'm gonna give you a, a good example of good he's a great leader takes decisive action there for his people in the field doing the jobs that you're not having somebody just flying him around he's piloting the ship he's doing it like i love that i love mm -hmm. that i love that it shows the strength of house atreides yeah and that's um because of his character and how he is the Bene Gesserit had ordered or commanded or whatever word you want to use Jessica to bear a daughter because they can kind of like control what the sex or the gender of their child children. But she gave Duke a son. Be, I mean, Leto a son because she loves him and she feels like he's a good, really good man. So and she knew he wanted a son. So she made that choice on her own, which is why the Bene Gesserit was like kind of mad yeah um but it and was supposed are, to be a daughter and i also know that the son is like i guess a male is going to become the one or something yeah like that. and they said this is what this is not what we had in store. and then it's his, su someone else. his supporting cast is extremely loyal to him and you see why because you see why they respect him as a leader and you yeah. see why they're gonna be you know uh gurney was just pretty chill just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely pretty chill like i'm like yo this guy's fucking on one yeah. but if i want someone to protect me it's him because yeah. he's ready he's fucking yeah. ready uh the fear hawat i don't know how to say that name perfectly he, he as soon as he disappointed and i'm sure it's like an honor thing for him to resign but also he didn't question his his leadership when um leto was like no 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 you have to you have to continue working yeah you made a mistake but you're really good at your job most of the yeah. time so uh you need to fucking stay on don't you yeah. dare leave and he's like okay okay and gets to work if you say so daddy yep um still was pretty chill we didn't get much of him javier bardem he's pretty cool as well uh um i feel like you know what he i made like about Stilgar say well is that he wasn't your typical opposing faction trying to be ally like oh 
I'm not even gonna listen to what you have to say. Right. I don't he respect sti- you. He still he, listens. He was like, I kind of respect the father, and yeah. I kind of respect the boy a little bit. Yeah. Like I understand the strength. Like I feel like it's more realistic, and it's not to where someone's just so adamant and so um, headstrong. Yeah. And like, uh, you mm. know, in their ways, it's like, no, no, no we, we will not. We won't work with you. We, we, we won't, won't work with and you because like, you're the okay, other. I still don't want to work with you, you but we kind of have an agreement here. We kind of understand each other a little bit. Yeah. And like, okay, that's obviously fair. we didn't get much about Shawnee, so I'm. I'm of, of course, we're going to get a lot about her in the next movie, I assume. Um, to show them the pictures of some of the older actors. So yeah, it's so interesting. All the villains, I think, are pretty decently done. Oh, I yeah. wouldn't say they're the strongest villains I've ever seen in writing wise. I don't know if we ever meet the emperor. But at least, at the very least, you understand their motivations. Their motivations yes. are simple. They're frustrated because they're taking something away from them, giving it to the um, the Atreides, uh, House of Atreides. And they don't want that. They make a lot of money. They've been doing that for 80 years. So there's a frustration there. Why are you doing this? Well, also, you, you see the political motivations for them being evil. It's not just their... I mean, they're evil. But you see, it's a very real world, like, they want power. They're greedy. Right. It's and power and And it's greed. being taken away. It'd yeah. be one thing if they just didn't have any. He's not just like, I want to They had rule. it, and it's being taken He's away. He's like, I just want one thing. I want income. Yes. And I was like, oh, okay, capitalism. Cool. Okay. Um. So, yeah, that's that's really nice. And then the betrayal, they didn't set it up, but it, it made sense, and it didn't need a lot of and setup with the doctor. If you've watched our reactions before, you know I love these political segments, and I had that first hour and a half of the movie was beautiful political perfection for me mm-hmm. i see why star wars got its um influence from here when it's yeah. politics for like the first three movies mm-hmm. for the or the the prequel movies and the emperor feeling that paul atreides or Leto atreides was becoming too um gaining too much maybe or had the potential to gain too much support and it was like no i'm gonna send you over here so that way it's not like i'm attacking you i'm just putting you in position to where the harkonnens will attack you so but they still did it in a way they got to be hush hush about it. They and try, yeah. They, yeah, and be, especially with the Bene Gesserit um, being there as well, because they can't, the Harkonnens can't just kill who yeah. the Bene Gesserit tells them not to, because the Bene Gesserit would know, and that would not be good if the Bene Gesserit is your enemy. So, but very enjoyable. And um, so, and then Paul, I think he's a pretty good main character. You got a good amount of screen time with him. Mm-hmm. Not too much focus on him. Enough focus on the side characters. Enough focus on his mother. I didn't talk about his mother. I do love his mother, actually. At first, I was like, mm, Jessica's kind of not chill. She's just... Mm, I'm not saying she's a bad mother, but she definitely has some selfish... Almost like she wants her son to be the one. Like, she, like I know you said... Well, yeah, nah, cause She I gave think him I'll, a son because he wanted, but it's also like, oh, she kind of has a little bit of a, yeah, a but dual I feel purpose like there. Also, now, at this point, if he's not the one... And he has this power. He's in that's gonna be yeah. that, well. He's in putting other people in danger if he's not the one. And he doesn't. If he, the power corrupts within him, um, and and then if he isn't the one, but maybe it doesn't like corrupt. Like either he's gonna kill a lot of people, or the Bene Gesserit are gonna come to kill him, him. before they yeah. expect like him, him, him to, to do kill. Something, yeah. So it's like for his safety in a way. She needs him to be the one. <laughs> Otherwise. <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, it's not gonna end well. But I, I ended up liking her in the film. I like that she is a fighter. She's not some weak like female protagonist where they just you know damsel they're in just, distress yeah, kind of thing. She can saved. hold her own and she's smart. The sign language, trying to teach her son the voice and everything. Yeah. I, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I think she's a very well written character. So, and the um, because we didn't really see much of her fighting throughout the movie, but the way she um, I guess bested Stilgar made sense from a perspective. If he's going into a situation where he thinks she's just gonna concede or submit, and then she like hits him with like a nice little counter move, it's it makes sense to where um, even though we didn't get a lot of backstory in her training like we did with Paul. It makes sense if she has some training we could say okay it makes sense that she would be able to best him in that situation yeah um because she hit him with that <laughs> the atmosphere of the movie extremely immersive oh yeah uh, the shots are wonderful and they're not the they're not the beautiful grand shots that you typically see in every movie not every shot was sharp and crisp and clear and like perfectly lit and had your blue and orange lighting you know there was like nice tones to each shot and very even just the city i forgot what it was called but the city as they're um 
Arrakis? Approaching Arrakis. Well, oh. the planet's called Arrakis too, right? So is it both? I don't know what the city is called if they did have so, another name for it. As they approach that city, it's an ugly ass city, but I love how it blended in with everything. And it's such a, just, a, it was a gray shot, but it was also beautiful at the same time because it really shows you the, you're getting a lot of story from that shot. Okay. It clear it's, it's, you know, there's sand all over the buildings, you know, dust or something. And it's just, it shows that there's not a lot of windows because of the heat. There's not a lot of, you know, they don't, they don't want to have the fucking sun blaring into their homes. It's already been heating up a lot. The walls are super thick. It probably helps keep things a little cooler. So I just, I don't know. There's a lot of information in each shot and you get a lot of, a lot of detail. I feel like there wasn't wasted shots. It was good setup shots, good world building, good exposition shots. I like the way that they're training the character to learn how to survive in the sand so they can show us how he needs to survive in the sand so we understand the knowledge as well. And it just doesn't come out of his ass one day. Right. The sound design. So good. And the music, phenomenal. I love it. And Hans Zimmer is definitely definitely different for Hans Zimmer. It felt more less emotional, a little more mechanical, but in like a good way. Because a lot of the Hans Zimmer music I listen to is very emotional, depending on the movie. But like you really got his he gave a sense for the drama and the the stage that it's on and i really liked it he, he built tension really well as as well and the use of silence was used very yeah. very well so i did like that nice good balance now it's interesting metacritic here has it rated as 74 percent imdb has eight out of ten rotten tomatoes has 83 percent so interesting seeing that and then knowing that the second movie, because I've already been, you know, critics couldn't shut up about it. That was really, really good. So I'm feeling like all this really great world building and all this setup is going to pay off so well yeah. in the second film. Yeah. And I'll probably rate this thing as a whole, as one big movie at the end of the day, because I feel like that's what it's supposed to really be. And the only yeah. reason why it's not a whole big movie is no one's going to sit through six that hours long of, a movie, yeah. of a movie. Though I would, I have watched The Lord of the Rings <laughs> extended edition in one day. Yeah. I'm that kind of nerd. I like it. And I like the Baron. Baron Harkonnen. Yeah. He's creepy. Stellan Skarsgård did an excellent yeah, job there. He did. Um, just his presence. The way he moved. The way he talked. Um, he didn't use much words. But he got his point across. Why say lot where when few do word do trick? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yes... Uh, just to mention, if you're watching this, if you didn't hear in the beginning, Doom Part 2 is already on Patreon if you'd like to watch that. But I enjoyed it just as much as I remember. Actually, a little bit more than I remember because the first time I didn't have as much understanding. So I was trying to learn while watching it versus this time I just was able to watch it. Um, and I had knew all the names of the houses. So when they spoke about this and that, I would just immediately knew who they were talking about understanding what the name of the worm is the, what the sand what the fremen people call the worm so when they say that i'm like oh they're talking about the worm so very enjoyable um very interesting that's what it, it, although there wasn't a bunch of like shock factor or um just a bunch of action and whatnot they had good action scenes it maintained a level of interest not um, everything needs shock factor that is yeah i, th I think that is more television shock yeah factor that's because, what i'm saying it's like it's able to because sometimes people do the scenes that are necessary and they're not able to make them interesting yeah like or entertaining like they i think they almost <clears throat> forget <throat> that they need to do that like that's part of what making a movie is um but yes very enjoyable i liked it a lot i'm excited to watch the second one when it comes out me too any other thoughts? No. I think that's about it. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. Really appreciate you. See you around. Mm -hmm.